Hi, my name is Robert O'Brien. Today I'm going to show you how to list one item, one product into three different collections. I've created a wine shop website here to show you how I've done this. This website has set up a very simple navigation here. Home, on sale, champagne, white, reds, and maker. Maker is the vendors. This uh, setup can be used also for a clothing store or a shoe store, on sale, men's, women's, children's, brands, uh, could be Coach, uh, Polo, Ralph Lauren, that kind of thing. Shoes could be men's, women's, kids, or uh, tennis, basketball, jogging. This kind of menu setup can be used in a variety of applications, variety of stores. Okay, so for today, I picked, I've created one product. It's Carlo and Rossi Burgundy Wine. It is a type of wine which is red, red wine as opposed to white wine. And I've also put this product on sale. A lot of people like to shop sale items. And the product vendor is Carlo and Rossi, as you can see. And let me go ahead and create three collections for you. The, the collections are what drive the navigation that we saw back here. So I'm going to create a, a collection for you that is reds on sale and a vendor collection, Carlo and Rossi. Okay, the first collection I've created is red. I'm gonna simply title it red and go down to the conditions here and we've got a product type. I selected product type is equal to red. Very simple. Don't overcomplicate this part. Up here, there will be a save button. Go ahead and save that. Um, so I'm just going to trigger the save button Okay, there it is. Hit the save and done. Done. Okay. Um, second collection I created was called On Sale. On Sale is did by the use of tags. Okay, so um, you put the title in. I put a little some text and I used this one called Product Tag and is equal to On Sale. Um, make sure you use the same tag for On Sale all the time. Um, and you can use the navigation of the drop down there in the future to make sure you use the same tag. It's very uh, sensitive to, to spelling and case. So go ahead and create that tag and you're done. Now the third tag we're going to create, excuse me, the third collection we're going to create is a vendor collection. And this vendor is Carlo and Rossi Vineyard. I put down the title as Carlo and Rossi. I put one comment in the description that it's an American winery. And the product vendor is what I selected here. If you recall, we use product type and we use product tag, but this one we're going to use product vendor. And we chose Carlo and Rossi. Again, if you use the drop down here, you've got several of them. Pick the right one. Um, spelling consistency helps. Um, Carlo and Rossi. And then if you hit the save button, you'll be fine. Okay, after we created this, these three collections, we're going to create the Carlo and Rossi product. In this case, it was the Carlo and Rossi Burgundy wine. And we wrote a little quick description that it's on sale right now. We put a product picture in there. We put a price and then we put the compare to price. This helps drive the on sale um, item on the home screen to show it better. But to get these items into the right collections, it's all about the right side here. The right side, product type, product vendor, and tags. So product type, if you recall, we made this a red wine. So I picked the product type red from the list as opposed to champagne because this is a red wine. The collection, uh, the vendor here is Carlo and Rossi and as opposed to these other vendors. So we picked Carlo and Rossi. And then down here, we use tags. And if you go here and you view all the tags, you can see the tags that you created. And we chose the on sale tag. Boom. And we apply that. It pops up there. And once you save this, once you sit the save button, this field, this area will change. And you will see to double check your work, that you are actually these, this particular product, the Carlo and Rossi Burgundy wine is on sale in the collection on sale, Carlo and Rossi vineyard and in red. 
Now we know that this is listed correctly. And if we go to our, our website, we can see that Carlo and Rossi is in fact on the on sale menu. There it is. It's also listed under red wines and boom, there it is. And under maker, we also see Carlo and Rossi there. And if you pick, whoops, if you hit Carlo and Rossi, there she is, um, Carlo and Rossi Vineyards. And there is the product. It's slightly embedded. And I'll show you how to make an embedded or nested menu or navigation button right now. So to do navigation, you go to your home screen and you have to go to this online store here. It's a little bit tricky, but if you click this, there is an embedded drop down and pick navigation. Um, that, that throws a lot of people off, but there's your navigation. Your navigation by default is footer and main menu. Main menu is the top menu on your website, which is there in this theme. It's right up here, nice and clear. And <clears throat> on my main menu, click this. I went ahead and created a bunch of things on the menu, uh, but I'll show you how to make a new menu item. If you wanted to just have a whole other category entirely, let's say rosés, you would use this button here and then it'll, it'll let you create another menu item. But in this case, we're just going to go here under Maker, click this button, and it gives us the drop-down menu, the embedded menu. And we're going to add one more Maker here. And the maker we're going to add is called Moe. Moe is a champagne maker, and we're going to click it to a collection page that is the vendor Moe. And boom, now we see there's going to be the drop down menu. It's going to have Carlo and Rossi, Rotor or Champagne, and Moe. We're going to hit the save button here, and let's now go to our our button here and you see the old menu is here we're going to go ahead and refresh this page and that will refresh the maker button which is also the vendors if you recall and where is it come on come on guys where is let's just refresh this page one more time and let's see there it is moe and if i click moe the product that i listed there is a bottle of champagne bingo you see how that went if you went ahead here and created a button uh, a navigation under here you could create another one called rosé let's say and type in a collection called rosé and i don't happen to have a collection rosé so um, i'm just going to use church wine and show you how that works. Now we're gonna go here, we're gonna refresh this page again and refresh the menu. And hopefully, hopefully, as soon as it refreshes, it will show, come on. Oh, there it is, I'm sorry. Um, did I not do that right? Oh, I forgot to hit the save button, of course. There we go. Now it'll work. Okay, so give that a boom. Refresh that. There it is. Rosé. Okay, it's at the end of the navigation. Hey, that's not right. We don't want it at the end. Let's move Rosé up a space to be between whites and reds. Aha! Now hit the save button one more time. Didn't do that the last time. But let's do that now, and you will see Rosé move from here to here, there. So now the navigation makes more sense, right? Whites, Rosés, Reds in, in order. And under our maker, we show Moe, the new manufacturer, the maker. And we also show Carlo and Rossi. And there it is, Carlo and Rossi. So that's how you do one product into three different collections and how to organize the navigation so it makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this, folks, and we'll see you soon.